Hello, my loves. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary, professional astrologer, and intuitive. As you can see, we have three piles today that I'll be working with. I've taken the time in my meditation to connect with my guides, and I'm inviting you to connect with your guides to ask them to help you pick the pile that will most resonate with you right now. At the time of me filming this video, I'm working on my complete astrology and intuitive guide. So the full breakdown of 2021, I'm just going to come in ebook format first and first and foremost. But I woke up this morning feeling really called to come into my sacred space and to share that space with you guys. And that's where this message is coming from. I haven't seen where these messages, I haven't seen these cards yet, so I don't know what messages we're working with. I'll be working with the mermaid tarot, which I'll be linking down below, which will be shuffling and pulling. And then we have these oracle cards in order to support the messages and the intuitive messages that I'm seeing here. However, like I was saying, if you want to get a full bright breakdown of the year of 2021, with predictions that I can see that are pulled from the astrology charts and the cards, you can go ahead and check out the links for the pre-order of the book, the ebook, which I'm still currently writing, but it'll be done by the end of the week, I'm pretty sure. For that, though, I'll be linked down below. Until then, you guys, I'm gonna see you in your timestamp, um, which is also linked down in the, the, the description box. Talk soon. Okay, my love, so if you chose pile number one or the opalite crystal, this is your reading. So first and foremost, the vision that I'm getting is that of clouds. They're overcast, kind of similar to how it is today at the time of me filming. You guys can't see this, but I can look out and I can see all the clouds um, and the city and the water. And there's, they're really um, dense and cloudy. But this vision that I'm getting goes beyond what I can see outside of my window. This is in my third eye, and I can see these low, low clouds, but I'm seeing how they trans transform, and the word that's coming through is transition. And the spirit is connecting the word transition to the idea of alchemy. So basically what I'm seeing is the breakdown of one form merges and moves into the next form. Um, and I'm seeing this as what you're gifted as, like your circumstances, whether you feel like you're in a good place or a bad place or you're frustrated or you feel abundant and happy and thriving. It's the natural unfolding and the cycle of things unfolding from one form into the next. And how this connects to the clouds is if you watch clouds and if you watch water, water flows, it flows to the river, it flows to the ocean, the heat from the earth and from the sun helps it to evaporate. It goes into the clouds. The clouds condense and comes back into rain form, pours back into the water and vice versa. It goes on and on and on, right? And that's essentially what I'm seeing here is the connection to you and the cycles of your life, the wheel, the cycle of your life and how things naturally progress and transition. Whatever stage you're at, at this point in your journey, I, it's not meant to be met with judgment, meaning sometimes we think of the word judgment, we think of harsh punishment or harsh perception of things, but in reality, even your judgment from a positive place or from a, a more optimistic place, I should say, it's not for you to perceive it as anything or define it. You're meant to sit with it. You're meant to embrace it. You're meant to allow it to be what it is. Every single stage has its own gift and blessing whether you're looking at it from a more optimistic perspective or optimistic lens or a more pessimistic lens. Either way, spirit is calling you to relax, to ease, to let go, let God, to flow, and to allow yourself to transition, to transform. I'm really being called to say that some of you guys have already entered into this next form, this next form. So 
This could be a career, relationship. It's almost like you're setting intention or you can sense or you have sensed that this cycle that you are exiting out of or that you have recently just exited out of, it's already ushering into this next form. And I'm seeing that you are, con I don't know why, but the word is contemplating. Like you're sitting with, you're observing, you're learning, you're trying to decode, you're trying to decipher, you're trying to understand you know, what you can do. And spirit is saying that it's not anything that you can or should or shouldn't do. It's you're going to do it effortless. But you have, in order for that transition to be more easier, you don't spend so much time doing research and observing and watching what others are doing and comparing yourself to that or trying to mirror it. I'm hearing the word echo. So it's, and I don't know why, but I'm looking at Pinterest. So like that's what's coming through. So this is showing me that someone is very, really excited or looking forward to the next phase and stage within their life and their journey. So they're pulling these outside resources to help inspire them, you know, into the next stage and you know, phase of your life, but spirit is saying, let us inspire you instead of you pulling from these outside sources. It's almost like creating like a Pinterest board. Like, and if it's not a Pinterest board, it's really like a vision board. You're pulling in all these images. And the thing is, is that spirit is saying, you know, with alchemy, we gave you everything that you need to know in order to co-create with us. But when you're looking for these external examples and images to represent these internal visions, you actually end up limiting yourself because not everyone is going to do what you can do. And sometimes the images are what you will be doing. The images of what you will be doing haven't been created yet. So when you take these images, these visions, and you try to create this concept or this mood board or this aesthetic, you actually end up holding yourself back. Okay, well, that's what came through. See ya. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on with your cards. That was the initial. You guys know, you know when spirit speaks, I listen. I don't really rely so heavily on the cards so much. Well, really ever, to be honest. If you're in the sacred circle, tarot school, you guys know that. Okay, so next thing that it is that I'm seeing are wings. I'm seeing you, this this pile is really ready to take flight is what I'm hearing, what is it I'm seeing. Um, you know, this is very, when I'm talking about transformative, this pile, if you chose this, you've already, you've already transitioned. Something has already transitioned. And the energy that I'm getting, it's so pure. This is a very pure pile, which means that it's, and it's bringing me back. Spirit is guiding me back to the visual that I had of the clouds. So if you look at the ocean, it has salt in it. It has animal waste. You know, it has um, pollution. It has fish. It has all these things that are in the ocean. However, when the heat from the sun heats everything up, you know, or heats the water up and the water starts to evaporate, that water leaves behind the salt, it leaves behind the pollution, it leaves behind the whatever, fill in the blank, and goes into its next form. And that's what I'm seeing from this pile. And with that, I'm really seeing a person lift off. I wouldn't be surprised if you have the energy of six here, that's what's coming through. I'm getting the six. Six is the number of effort, well, the, the stage of effortless um, transition that moving on to the next cycle after going through some really tumultuous seas very turbulent energy here and how how you know how I don't know this the this energy of healing and conscious it's okay that's why I just heard conscious healing um where a person is con realizes their trauma, realizes their wound, realizes their problem areas, and has consciously worked to rectify it, is the word that's coming through. Has consciously worked to make it better. And for that reason, they have mentally chosen to move forward. They have mentally chosen to, um, be, to celebrate how far they've come. They've mentally chosen to be um, nurturing to themselves. They've mentally chosen to embrace this stage with excitement, with enthusiasm, but also realize that 
the end isn't here, you know what I mean? Like, you're still carrying on. You're still carrying on in this next form. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, Four of Pentacles and Ace of Swords. So this is showing me right away that this energy around you is something, what I'm hearing is it's been locked in. So you've been locked into this energy. You've been locked in. And as I'm even looking at this, what's really standing out to me, sorry, my orchid is bouncing around. What's really standing out to me is the energy of water flowing behind her. So as she's locked in, as she's set in her way, grounded, so to speak, this energy, this abundance, this blessing is still flowing, even though she or he may not move, may not be moving in the way that they expect it or moving in the way that they would have ideally wanted it to be or how they it ideally envisioned it is what's coming through. And <clears throat> part of that spirit is with the Ace of Swords reversed. You know, Ace of Swords can be really tough in, in the energy that it brings, what it says, what it's thinking, how it delivers its message. Um, but there have been certain, in this challenge, in this area where you're locked in, you were rediscovering, redefining are the words that are coming through. The defining moments, I, this is really specific, so so bear with me while I sit and hear what Spirit is saying. Um, but the defining moments of your life and the, the source of the P, but I don't know what the word is. And I want to say pinnacle, but it's not. But sometimes when spirit gives me words, I don't know the word, so I have a really hard time finding it, and other times it just flows to me. But it's these pinnacle, these pinnacle points. Um, I'm hearing mastery. I'm hearing the word mastery. So there are these, these pinnacle points that are being pinpointed, that are being highlighted, that you were caught in, no matter what you would have done or not have done, it would have brought you to, to the same space. It's a lock. It's a locked in circumstance. It's very North Node energy. Uh, the word is capable. Spirit is saying capable and capacity. So in those locked in moments, those North Node karmic moments, you were stretched to your max capacity and you were demon you were you demonstrated what you were capable of this is why we do not spirit is speaking really clearly you guys this is why we do not ask you to define or to decode or to decipher what has happened or what it looked like because the the, the pinnacle moment you know the 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 meat of that the the real definition and the real purpose behind that karmic situation these karmic situations is so much more than what your brain and your logic would allow you to believe it to be now what that means is is that the less you are locked into these karmic moments these karmic situations that you may look at as a failure or a massive accomplishment and spirit defines it differently than how you define it, but they were imperative to your growth, your spiritual growth and evolution and involvement. Now I'm being called to look at these cards. So we have four of swords, we have the empress card, and I'm looking at her shell that she's holding. It's reminding me of this one time when I did a ritual on the beach. Um, it's something about this is very trippy. It's... Um, like a hallucinogenic, that's the vision that it is that I'm getting. Well, I didn't do the uh, hallucinogenic or anything like that, but this is what's coming through. And I'm not encouraging you to do that, but it's it's very like trippy. It's it's like it, a hallucinogenic is coming through because I'm seeing it. If you saw it through the lens of spirit, if you saw it through divine guidance, especially with this star at the top, you would see it in a totally different lens. Nine of Wands reversed and Ten of Cups reversed. So all of these things, this is really showing, I'm hearing like narrow, like the word narrow. So you narrowly, Spirit is saying that you narrowly missed, you know, it, okay, so Spirit is this, this pile, my God, it's like you guys are just, you have a lot going on here. Um, it's powerful though. So Spirit is saying that in our lives, we have choices. We come to these forks in the road. 
you know, and then we're guided, okay, which way do I go? Those choices that you make, even though you feel like it's a failure, or you feel like it's a, ugh, or I could have done this differently, or we could have had this, or this could have been, none of that, right? You narrowly missed, even in those feelings of failure. The Nine of Wands is the guy who takes the beating and keeps on going. You narrowly missed certain major components of like disaster with your life or things that spirit would just simply would not allow you to have and would not allow you to experience, you know? Um, and it's locked in karma. So in, in honor those things, really honor them and ex ex um, exalt them, you know? Give them energy, give them life. Every stage within your life has been a choice. And even the craziest moments within your life that seem disastrous have been lo locked in karma, have been locked in fate. Now, I see you rebuilding. I see you re-cementing yourself. I see you building a foundation in new ground, new fertile ground. This pile may actually be kind of feeling a little burnt out. They may feel a little under-inspired, but that's coming back. I truly feel this. Okay, hallucinogenics are coming through again. Again, I'm not saying that you should be smoking weed or anything else like that, taking mushrooms or anything like that. What, it, what this visual is, is a higher perspective. Um, it's through this higher lens. It's very Neptune and Pisces type energy, which we have got, we've got going on right now. And it's, this is why spirit with the temperance card, it's, it would, it would love to show you what it is working on building in your life. Um, I'm hearing the word prosperous. I'm hearing the word identity, your identity and your vision of how a family and how career and how happily ever after should look like is being redefined redefined and being reprogrammed. I'm almost getting a visual of a light bright. If you take these lights, these little pegs and put them in different things and turn it on, you'll get a picture, a different picture every single time. And spirit is trying to show you the different picture, the different lens that you are going to co-create, that you're going to co-build. But there's aspects within the feminine energy that are a little bit blocked right now, that you want to be open and receptive to receiving, especially with Four of Swords. Queen of Cups is a reverse. Queen of Pentacles is reversed. So you want to be very open to allowing this emotional release, emotional surrender, emotional abundance, emotional blend, um, blessing, emotional blending of, um, you know, and a vulnerability is something that's coming through. Some of you guys might be a little afraid of being vulnerable. Yes, fresh start, fresh start, the full card, the devil card. Do you see how you have let go of and you have purged and become brand new? In this journey, in this stage, that's what you're co-creating right now. There are certain, there are a lot of things, you guys, that you have left behind as you, like a cloud, evaporate, like a water from the ocean evaporating into the clouds. You have let go of many things, many, many things in that process. And fresh start, fresh start with the fool card here, fresh start. She's even emerging from the ocean. Then we have the moon card. We have nine of pentacles reversed. We have the world card. This is exactly what it was that I was saying, this major cycle that you're in right now. It's subconscious, it's higher level, it's healing, it's intuitive, it's gifted. At the same time, I feel as though spirit is trying to show you in this stage right now how to merge all of those things so that you can receive massive blessing. Knight of Pentacles is here reversed, Five of Pentacles is upright, and the Emperor card. So you are really learning how to stand firm in your truth. You are really learning how to merge and blend certain aspects within yourself. The masculine side that wants to do, 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 and the feminine side that wants to receive. I'm also hearing some of you guys are overly asking for help or not asking for help enough. Okay, body care. So as you're going through this, spirit is is um, warning you. I wanted to say something else, but spirit is giving a warning. It's clearly the word warning. They wouldn't let me use any other word. A warning to pay attention to your mental health. Your mental health impacts your physical health, your physical impacts your emotional, your emotional, your spiritual, and it goes into this big old cycle. Pay attention to all aspects of that, of that within yourself, especially as you have purged, especially as you are purging, especially as you're transitioning. We wanna protect, if you could see 
how spirit sees you, you would you would be inspired. But in order to do that, you really want to get locked into the space, this four of pentacles, kind of not shut down your energy, but go to your sacred space and call out for the vision. Truth and integrity. Do you see how protective these cards are of their body, of their energy, of their boundaries, of their process, their journey? So truth and integrity means that there are certain things that are being revealed to you that are going to help you become into alignment, like more of an alignment with. There's You have these conflicting energies, so it could be a relationship, but I am seeing more of this as the shadow sides within your mental health, um, within yourself, the and the light sides within yourself. So the places of your journey that you exalt and that you love and that you're proud of and the things that you're not so proud of, Spirit is show, showing you the gift and the blessing of both of those things. Take time for yourself. See, everything is telling you right now to lock it down. Lock it down. I just heard another word. Um, and just, you you have, because um, I keep, this, this rarely happens, but as Spirit is giving me these words, it takes it right out, so I can't even catch it. So I feel like these are messages that you are to receive um, and the word is, it starts with an R. This one starts with an R. It's not recuperate. I would literally be sitting here forever trying to find it and to place the word. But I just feel like this is Spirit telling you to really take the time out so that you can connect with them so that they can tell you the word themselves. New beginnings. You have the world, I'm sorry, yes, you have the world card, you have the fool card. You have new beginnings, you have temperance. All of this energy is showing you that you are really stepping into the next form. But what we don't want you to do is to take with you the lack, the poison, which you've purified yourself of it, definitely. Okay, it's not only about being right. So this is not about making, like honoring others over yourself or always doing the right thing. It's about honoring what spirit is telling you to do. And only you know the answer to that. Be true to yourself. This is a connection to the word integrity. This is about honoring your vision, honoring your purpose, honoring your message. Spirit talks to you. Enjoy your extraordinary uniqueness. This is bringing me to the full card, which is connecting me to the energy of Uranus. This is about doing your own thing, doing it on your terms, redefining as you enter into this next stage, this next cycle within your life. I hope this message makes sense, my loves. Um, let me know down in the comments if it resonates or send a heart. Um, because I would love to hear from you. And again, I invite you to check out my book, my ebook, which is going to be available this week. Um, it's, it'll be a download first, and then I think printable form, but we'll see. But all the links to that will be down below. I want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. All right, if you chose the two-pointed quartz crystal, this is your reading. So right away, the vision that's coming to me is that of a lightning bolt. <laughs> I'm getting a vision of a lightning bolt. I'm getting a vision of a spaceship. I'm getting the, I'm hearing the words revolution. I'm seeing this sword right now. And I'm seeing it legit, Queen of Swords, as she stabs. I'm seeing it, something striking. As it strikes, it gives out this energy, like this energy that radiates. It. I'm also hearing strike. So I don't know if you guys have ever had like a toothache. And then you bite into something and it just hits a nerve. This is very Uranus energy that is coming through with the lightning bolt. This wants to come okay. That's a very specific vision that it is I'm getting. Um, the next thing that I'm seeing and I'm visualizing is uh, lavender. Thank you guys for being patient with me while I pull these cards and connect with my guides. 
my visions are always kind of interesting. And just like pile number one, I was getting a lot of words for them. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So with I, I don't want to spend too much time focusing. Okay, okay. So Spirit just showed me another uh, vision. Um, it looks like an oil, like the, the creation of an oil. Um, using herbs, I see you using it to dress uh, certain things like items, but I'm also seeing a wound like an open sore space and then an, an oil like a healing oil going on that in order to Cure and to tend to it. I can't tell if this is an actual physical thing or if this is a metaphor um, This is Side by side with the vision of the lightning bolt striking so Mm, okay, just flip some cards over for you. Let's see what we have here. Maybe something. Oh, not even surprised. Lightning bolt tower card. See what I'm saying? Devil card. Page of Pentacles. Spirit is really like, just flip the cards over, Jess, and then we'll talk to you. I'm like listening loud and clear. Oh, here she is again, Queen of Swords. Magician card, Lightning. Okay. So, first and foremost, this feel, I just heard the word uproot. So, if you chose this pile, this is not something to be afraid of at all, by any means. But you're being uprooted, or something in your life is being uprooted. I'm hearing yank. It's getting pulled up by the root. It's now I'm being tied to connect back to the toothache metaphor. So, there's something that... Oh, you guys are going to like this. Okay. Um, but it's not bad. This, there's something that has rotted. There's something that has rotted. Devil card. It's connecting me to the devil card. There's something that has rotted. Eight of, eight of swords reverse, causing you pain. Spirit is pulling it up by the root. Page of pentacles, it gets replaced. I'm getting a vision of a gold tooth, literally, with the page of pentacles here. So... This feels, Spirit is saying, this is inevitable, Jess. Tell them it's inevitable. It would have been inevitable. You know, there's certain aspects. <laughs> this reminds me of number one, and Spirit is like, boom, 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 boom. Like, now I'm getting like, now it's like pulling me up. It's like legit pulling me up. So this is showing me, and you're clear now. You're focused. You're assertive. You're dominant. You're forward. You're aggressive. You're, I will never do this again. Now I know better. I will do better. Now I'm stepping into my truth. Now I'm stepping. Do you see how the energy changes once we pull that fucking tooth out. I'm surprised you don't have the Emperor card here, but this is a person who is clear and precise on their path once we pull the fucking root out. Part of my French, I'm sorry. There's been something sick, stagnant, um, like too, too good to be true. And too much of anything is a bad thing. It's n not good. Not good. And Spirit is saying... You know, you kind of knew it, but I could see you trying to 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 care for it, to tend for it. But it's literally, it just needed to get pulled out. It's almost like a wisdom tooth or something. Then it's replaced with gold. Then it's replaced with a better match for you. Um, lover's card is here, you guys. Lover's card is here. Lover's card is not only about relationships and connections and partnerships and union. It's about choice it's about a call like literally hearing a call from angels from archangel gabriel who says pull this out it is not a match for you you cannot harmonize with this thing it is toxic it is infected it is bleeding it is embedded and we had to do surgery to remove it there are aspects within yourself that are being pulled up from the root or you're preparing for the the pull you're preparing for the surgery you're preparing for this removal um, it's a metaphor. Some of you guys are actually doing like health things like you have 
take in yourself as far as you can on your own terms, then you go to a council, then you go to a, a counselor, then you go to a, a professional, then you go to, then you have to take this next step. And whatever it is, they or you pulls it out and then from that, you stepped into your truth. Every step of the way has been lesson, 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 lesson. Educate yourself, educate yourself. No, 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 do, 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 do. Now apply it in this new healthy space and take all of what you have. Don't take the energy of the past with you, but apply it in this new stage, this new wave. But something is getting pulled up. Something is getting uprooted um, and really getting the sense of the term infection. It feels very infectionist. It feels like it's like carrying someone with you um, into this, you know, new life or trying to build into this new life and they just take with them and carry with them their negativity so it's like you've served as much as you can but then you're just like fuck it part of my friend i'm so sorry but <clears throat> there's this very like queen of swords energy here which is very like cut and dry cold turkey like that's what's coming through and it doesn't sugarcoat it sugarcoating things didn't d added to the disservice sugarcoating things added to the problem it made it linger so you come in cut by next four of wands is saying regardless of how you try to add into it or revitalize it it's i'm getting like a house i'm seeing this vision of a house where you have this shell of a home and your your intention is to sell it so you start doing all of these remodels like remodels of it and there's certain things that you're just like okay if i do any more i'm it's now a disservice to me i'm going to be losing money so now we pull it we we put it on the market we pull it we yank the chain i'm seeing a vision of a bathtub you pull the plug and the water starts to drain out why because the bath is over and spirit is so forward with me to you right now. It's set, it's very, very forward. It's very clear. There is no wavering. There is no teeter tottering. There's no tricycles. You know, you take your wheels off when it's time for you to go on the bike. And it, you can do it. Do it. Go. <laughs> I love when spirit comes through in the way that it has. It's already said, okay, so it's giving me permission to talk about this a little further. You're this less, you no longer investing in this and you no longer putting money or energy or attention or time or whatever. Feeding this is going to be the most empowering decision that you could make. And you know exactly what it is. Clear. You're clear. You're crystal clear. Um, I don't normally do this, but I'm getting the sense that there's a secret. See, Hermit card is very quiet. It's very introverted. It's very in, in, inward. I think that some of you guys are going to need to move silently. This is not a public statement. It's a, it's a, it's an energy shift. It's an energy change. This is where actions speak louder than words. So your moves speak for themselves. You don't need to make a public display of this. It's done quiet. Also, I'm being called to the energy of secrecy and secrets. Some of you guys have been picking up on something that's been hidden from you. And your mind, your intuition can sense that something is off. So your brain then senses that and tries to find the root of the problem. But when you do that, you make yourself sick trying to, you know, trying to figure it out because you end up worrying about it instead of just being like, this is not a match. I know that you're not honest. I know that this isn't serving me. I know that this is poisonous. I can't quite put my finger on it, but there's pain, there's discomfort, and there's an infection. So I, I'm removing myself from the circumstance because something is hidden from me. It's not my responsibility to go searching for it because that creates dank, 
that creates dysfunction, that creates discord. Some of you guys have removed someone, pulled them from the, from the root of your life, and you're still trying to sit and figure out why. Stop doing that. You, you're the, literally when you remove them, you took the wheels of your tr tricycle off and you're meant to just go and somehow you're still kind of circling the playground waiting for them to come and play. No, they're a bully. Why are you looking for them? And spirit is showing me, like I want you guys to see this. Do you see me doing this? This is chaos. In your eyes, you look at it and you're trying to make sense of all these moving pieces. And all you need to know that all of these cards still hold the same message. And this is spirit putting them in order to help you to understand that this is a new fresh stage, a new fresh journey, a new fresh cycle, and everything is divine perfection. You don't need to know and understand how all of the mixing and the meshing and the merging and all this other stuff, how it factors into the story. You just know that your next stage, your next step, trust, is to, to step forward and to, to, to move, to take that step. You don't need to know why. You don't need to know, you're, you're, spending, you're expending too much energy on things that don't even matter. You're giving them more value. You're giving them more importance than spirit would allow. So now you're being called to take that first step. I'm done. Let's move on to your Oracle cards. So intention. Wow. You had the magician card. You had the magician card and the magician card says, I stand in my power. I know what I want. I'm co-creating with the universe. I will not allow any distraction because the magician card is ruled by Mercury. I will not allow any distraction to deviate the, my, my plan, my course of action, my path, my steps. Serenity. I release and I surrender that which I do not control, that which I cannot control and that which I do not understand. That's what I'm hearing. Spirit just say, says that. I release and I surrender that which I cannot control and that which I do not understand. Unity. Spirit will not allow you to try to harmonize and try to um, link yourself, bond yourself with things that you are just not, they're not, they're infection. Like it's an infection. So through this, you set intention for higher. Through this, you surrender it, you let go, you let God, and then you instantly plug in to a source of infinite potential, blessing, prosperity, love, abundance. You are healed. The infection has been removed. I speak it over you. Things are about to get really juicy. Girl, they've been. <laughs> This is not a threat. Some of you guys read this and you're like, shots fired. Spirit is not shooting guns at you. When are you gonna feel that? When are you gonna trust? Shots are not fired. Why are you scared of what the universe is trying to, how the universe is trying to help you? Why are you scared of your intuition telling you something's not right here? Can you just trust my judgment? If I give you a warning, if I give you a hint that there is something coming, things are about to get really juicy, and you continue to stay and linger in that spot trying to figure out, okay, well, what is it? And then it happens, who can you blame but yourself? Change, change is always good. I'm done. <laughs> oh my goodness, I want to thank your guides for coming through and just gripping us up in the way that they did. Um, wow, that message is really powerful and potent and just, you can't find, <laughs> you can't. Some of you guys are gonna be like, but no, there is no but, like the message is very clear. And I'm just so honored and I'm so grateful that 
spirit speaks in the way that it does and moves in the way that it does. Um, if this message resonated, let me know down in the comments. Feel free to share and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to, go ahead and keep your eyes open for my ebook with all my predictions, astrological and intuitive for 2021. All of that will be linked down below in the description and pinned in the comments. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Okay, my loves. Those last two piles were powerful, <laughs> to say the least. But if you chose the carnelian striped mama. Oh, goodness. This is your reading. Okay, so I just got a vision of a black, black mamba. Like a black snake. That's very, that's a very specific message. That's very specific. I'm getting um, led to talk about medicine. Um, and I'm being called to talk about, like, there's a thin, very, thin, <laughs> very, it's not funny, um, but it's clear. It's a very thin line between poison and medicine. And I'm hearing trial and error. Like, ugh, God. Then now hear me out before you guys take this and run with it, because this is a very specific message. All of the messages, messages have been specific. But it's about trial and error. It's about um, what, how history, how history has revealed itself, and the lessons that people have learned before you, and the lessons that you have learned. There's this connection. I'm seeing these two strips, these two lines, and there's your history and your past, and there's the history of others and their past, and. They're very different, but there are certain things within yourself or certain um, points in your journey and your story, the, the book of your life that you, if we retell, if we retold that story, you would be like, okay, when you see this or how these things have shown up, it is apparent that it is time to get the heck out and that these things relate. Correlation is causation, which is not the case. Um, but, and hear me out, you guys, because this is a very specific message that's coming through. Then we have this next linear story where spirit is showing you and showing us how history, throughout history, this is what happens when this occurs. This is what happens when this happens. This is what it means. And this is how it impacted you. This is how it impacted others. And there's these connection to how it correlates, how it relates. And spirit is showing there's a defining line between what is poisonous and what is healing. And I'm seeing you sitting with yourself and your higher self in order to consult your ascended the ascended masters and your spirit guides your ancestors actually it's your ancestors really and you're consulting with them okay where do i draw the line like where does the line like where does where where is it health healthy where is it cathartic where is it healing and when does it become a problem or if i have a problem when is it healing for me to do it on my own? And when is it more healing for me to consult? The word is consort is coming through. And I have to define it. Consort. Wow, meaning. So a husband, a wife, spouse of a, a reigning monarch. Compare prince, consort queen consort a vessel or ship accompanying another so that's so interesting a royal consort is the spouse of a king a ruling king or queen yeah so this is very much like i was saying like i'm seeing these two lines here and it's so funny that the black mamba is coming through for this pile because it is 
very specific. It feels very poisonous. It feels very like like there's a difference <laughs> between this snake and the other snakes. It, it's almost like a poison. Like it's very um like if you see it you run. And I don't know if that's actually it's um it has this big hooded but it's a black snake. It's a very black snake. Um very king cobra like. And the reason why this is coming through is that I'm connecting it back to you now. Spirit is kind of guiding me to connect it back to you. The reason why this is coming through is because it really is showcasing your wisdom, you as an elder, you as an ascended master, and eventually, inevitably, your your lessons, your wisdom, your gifts, your light, your legacy contributes. It just keeps carrying over. So there's this pile. If you chose this pile, it's a very ascended pile. I don't see regular partnership here. I don't see regular conversations. I don't see regular life, meaning it's not a very normal pile. It's not a very normal person that we're dealing with. And that person is you. I see you um, having a lot of power, owning your power, knowing your power. And I see this, um, <clears throat> this realm of spiritual blessing that wants to come through. The word consort. Okay, there's newness coming in. Queen of, I'm sorry, it's funny that I said queen. Ace of Cups is here. There's new energy that wants to emerge and be birthed into your life. But I'm being called back to what it was I was originally saying, that there's a fine line between medicine and poison. So you, all right, let me just pause because spirit is like, yeah, Knight of Cups reverse, Ace of Wands reverse, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, the Fool card. Five of Pentacles, the Hermit card, the World upright. King of Cups reversed, Ten of Cups reversed, Page of Pentacles reversed. Emperor knew it was going to come up. Emperor, Two of Wands, King of Wands reversed. Knight of Swords reversed, Nine of Cups reversed, and the Wheel of Fortune upright. So I'm getting this these two tales, like these two, two stories, two legacies, linear is the word that's coming through. And I'm seeing the aspect of taking, I'm, oh my God, this pile is not conflicting, but it's very heavy, this message, heavy in the sense that it, I carry with it like a responsibility and how I share it. So you're going to have to, this pile is going to, is being held in a different hand of the divine right now. Um, just because they have a different purpose, they have a different plan, they have a different destiny, and it's the magnitude of it is very great. So how spirit is moving, it's very um, careful. It doesn't see anyone as better or worse than the other or good or bad or this person is more has more value it's just showing that at some stages within your life this the weight of the lesson has to be held in a way that's different than how the rest of people are being held so something is being ushered into the world something around you is being ushered in and having said that spirit is very is saying a high heightened level of responsibility in or giving you a heightened level of responsibility or they have a heightened level of responsibility in how you move and learning the path. So you have to look at your your journey and see how what you carry or what you do or what you take or what you connect with, how it's medicine, how it's healing and how it's poisonous in the way that 
no repeat, like no repeats. This is a very specific message. So if you guys are confused and conflicted, this is not your pile. This is not your message. If you don't understand what I'm saying, this is not your message because this is a message for a very specific 1% of the population <laughs> or very 12, like very 12% and under 11% and under. This pile, this group is birthing in mag a magnitude, a weight, and there are some things that they cannot carry themselves, or there are some things that will be poisonous, or there are some things that are actually healing, but would have been poisonous for others. And you have a consort, you have a, a, a guardian, you have a match alongside of you who is mirroring you walking beside you especially with two of wands and can see when there is a problem in the emperor card here can see when there is a problem can see when there's um a poison and you stop in order to address that concern so that you are made whole again so that you are made you are stronger I'm seeing something is being administered. That's what I'm hearing. Something is being administered. Something is being given to you. It almost feels like a medicine. I'm hearing the word cooling. It's something that cools the heat. So it, I also, the last pile was connected to the realm of infection. And with Ace of Wands here and Nine of Wands, it's connecting me to infection once again. So this is showing me that there are certain aspects that are getting cooled, that are being... Um, real, like, real, like steam is letting it out or something is being given to you in order to calm like a compress because the weight of what this person carries you or the weight of this burden the weight of this relationship the weight of your legacy the weight of your journey is very has a heavy magnitude to it has a heavy weight to it the legacy is real with this one so Having said that, your partner, I don't know why this is connecting to partnership, your partner is um, calming or it's waiting for you to be calmed, waiting for you to be cooled, waiting for you to have healing. And if not, it feels, it's so interesting. Wow, this pile is very specific. This pile, you'll have to let me know if this resonates be, uh, because this is so specific. I, I feel this is a very specific message. Um, especially with Ace of Cups, I feel I'm getting, something is being administered, something is being, and it could be a, literally an actual birth. It could be it's very general messages with this card, but it's coming through clearly. So it could be an actual birth. It could be an actual... Um, child, it could be actual something topical, something that you put into your life, a new birth, a new beginning, a new opening, but it's something that could be, this is crazy, but this is what's coming through, something that could be poisonous to others or something that other people wouldn't be able to melt, like gel with, but they're not, they're not, they're normals. And I'm seeing someone heightened so this could be a doctor this could be a partner this could be something someone that is had like or a, a elder a counselor someone who is also wise or someone who's very strong or is there to protect to protect and to guide in their own way but the, you're not meant to rely on this person because you are very powerful, clearly. You're very powerful on your own terms, but they contribute in the way that they contribute. But they're, it's almost like I'm seeing them waiting for this calming, cooling to happen to occur. And this is a person who is getting medicine, who is getting healing, who is, real, who is healing the infection, healing the wound, healing this stage it has to be calmed it has to be calmed down this is the blessing right now so you're kind of at this even as i'm doing this reading this is the cross this is when spirit and the physical meet when they cross when they cross paths so spirit is giving you time to to cool to calm down 
Let's look at your oracle. <sighs> Healing. Wow. It feels very medicine. It feels very medicinal. Healing is at the center. Some of you guys are going for, for medicine. You're going for a state. It's so, it's so, it's so powerful though. Like the power behind this, I can't even put it into words. Abundance. I just feel there's a weight. There's a weight with this word abundance. It's connected to your responsibility and your gifts that you're giving to the world and the gifts that you're moving into. You're very, you're like juggling and balancing normal life and the spiritual responsibilities and the spiritual weight. And because of that, you have to kind of come to these check-in points where something is being administered to you, a healing, a prophecy, a vision, a gift, medicine, or whatever. Um, it's like going to a shaman and receiving this blessing, receiving this an anointment for an ailment. That way you can continue to move powerful. And it's a very thin line between something that is poisonous to you and something that is super cathartic. Let your inner beauty shine. This is connecting me to the world card. Okay, you are a brilliant example of God's love. Everything about you is perfect, so let your light shine and inspire others. So this is something, you're being called into protection. You're being called into a space of protection. What this means is that at some point, this is very ascended master type um, energy here. So this pile might ine inevitably evolve into this like ascended master, or this guru, or this you know, wiser elder type stuff. So spirit is saying that, you know, you can do a lot, but there comes a point when the master has to receive the medicine and you're, you're meant to be supported. You're meant to be, um, be given gifts of healing too. You're meant to rest, but, and be healed and with that, you're then going to start to see clearly again, or you're going to start seeing the, the medicine or something that needs to be administered, something that needs to be given to you um, to help heal you in the next stage, the next step. Even with Ten of Wands, it's showing that the burden of you carrying it all on your own is too great. It's too heavy. Then I'm seeing this revolution. Then I'm seeing, especially with the Fool card here, you see you do, you move, now that you have seen, now that you have heard, now that you are healed. Purification. Yes. So this is a part of that cleansing process. By purifying your life of negative people, places, and experiences, you attain, emphasis on the word attain, true peace. So I'm seeing that you're being, you're, there's purification process, meaning, and it's a very thin line. Again, it's bringing me back to the Black Mamba. It's a very thin line between what is healing and what is poisonous and it's like something is being sucked out like the poison is being sucked out and the medicine is being administered so that this person can be healed so that this new birth can happen so that this new life can enter so that this new stage can occur and it's not meant to be alone it's not meant to be isolating it's not meant to be lonely it's not meant to be empty it's actually going to be full obviously with abundance here but you have to suck out these poisons and then i'm also seeing a consort you're meant to partner up with a partner who is equal value but moves a little different your life is being revolute reach for the stars you deserve only the best and this is all you should focus your attention on just like we watch a snake it focuses on what it focuses on, it zeroes in, it locks in, and that's what it's paying attention to. So I'm seeing you really connecting to this higher vision, and there's this new abundance that's meant to be coming into your life that Spirit wants you to focus on. Ace of Cups, there's this new blessing that wants to come in. Look, create space for new love. So there is this new energy coming in. It's coming in like... And it gives like a bundle of joy is what it is I'm hearing. So it could be a child, but it's very new life giving. It's meant to give you so much love and so much happiness. You were born with that it quality. So this is again showing me that this pile is a distinguished pile. It's very different from the others. 
I'm almost seeing like you're kind of work backwards or you feel delayed in some way, but it's because your responsibility were to handle these certain things or to take care of these certain things before you could focus on happiness, before you could focus on joy, but now you're entering into joy and happiness and abundance and blessing because it almost feels like the work that is that you've put in, even though it might've been abundant, it still has been kind of energetically draining. So it feels kind of delayed, but now it's happening. Look, you've got time. The energy of what the time that you put in has been focused on this. I'm also seeing this element, this word forgiveness coming through of, you know, saying goodbye to the past, saying goodbye to the tumultuous energy. And I'm seeing you connecting in with this new life, this new excitement. But right now I'm seeing rest, surrender, and I'm also seeing partnership, massive partnership. It almost feels like a monarchy. Um, and co-creating, man, intention, setting intention for that. High Priestess is between the two poles, the two um, pillars there of shadow and light. And then you're co-creating, you're manifesting, you're setting your intention, you're working your magic. It's a very specific message for a very small population, but it will resonate to those it's meant to resonate with. I stand firm in that. Um, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and my ebook on my visions, my prophecies for 2021, um, pulled by astrology and my intuition is linked down below. It's in pre-order sales right now, but finishing up and finalizing it should be this week. I send you guys all of my love and my blessings and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.